Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, here once again. Oh, with something that's... Oh, I'm, well, let me tell you. Let me tell you. We got a package from uh, every man's pocket EDC. Or, you know, EMP EDC, if you will. This is the latest design from John at EMP EDC. This is the relative. Uh, these are gone for now. There's more coming, don't worry. Best tech made. I love it. I love it. I love it to death. And this is the latest and greatest from John of EMP EDC in this pouch Rooney. As I opened it without doing my intro. Let's open it! Again. Yes! John of EMPDC sent this little beauty along here. <sighs> New design. The man's just, he won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. There's a note. And then uh, a little hard pouch pack. Uh, thing. Uh-huh. Uh, no, uh, nothing left in there. Goodbye. Up top, baby. Damn. All right. So we got the hard case. Let's put that away. What, is, what, are we, what do we got here? A, a letter? Oh. Oh. I forget what this is called. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Let's just open it. I'm freaking out. Oh, yeah. This is the EMP EDC Ronin. The Ronin. It's insane. Uh, it, uh, let's get this out and at the ready. Nice cloth, nice, I don't know if this is the final production packaging here, but very nice, very nice looking. And this is the knife. Look at this thing. Very different, very wild compared to the stuff he's done in the past. Um, but it still somehow looks like an EMPDC knife. Wild, milled texturing all over, full titanium frame lock, nice, uh, decorative lock bar reliefs there. Uh, nice little backspacer way back here. The EMP EDC go-to clip, baby. You know I love it. Uh, nice little decorative pivot that we usually get. Big old flipper tab, big old deployment slots. Look at this jimping up here. Ooh, really nice jimping. Um, the texturing on it's very interesting. It's like really large grooves as opposed to real fine, fine grooves on the relative here. Uh, size comparison real quick. There's the relative and the Ronin. Let me grab a... Oh, no. I, I think my wife has all my EMP EDC knives. That's it. That's all I have. <laughs> no! Okay, well, I can't do an OG Nimble size comparison. I'm sorry. Uh, my wife has it. But here is a Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall. So a bit longer, but carries about the same. Real thin, real long and slender. Kind of flared on the ass in there. Let's move that away. Just a nice looking piece. Wild, again, compared to his previous designs uh very minimal hardware just two on the show side and the two bot the two clip screws double is the body screws and the t8 pivot screw what a thing very lightweight very slim and slender feels nice in the hand i just kind of want to rub my fingers on it you know? <laughs> you know what i'm saying but let's flick this thing open oh yeah it's nuts it's nuts he's been showing pictures of this teasing them on his instagram lately uh look at that profile man wow it's wild we got the uh, go-to deployment groove slot hole deals here we got this wild swedge up here at the top look at this profile dude what is happening here really nice like i said flared out towards the back end feels really nice in hand lock up is solid as a rock hollow grind like straight razor straight hollow ground main section of the blade here and this dramatic tonto tip so you have a tip a secondary tip and then your large cutting blade area edge area english is hard i'm excited forgive me something else dude uh so let's check the ergos in hand yeah slim feels good though locked in right here thumb on the jimping Feels great. Choke back. Fills the hand really nice. Decent amount sticking up there. Feels good. We have a very subtle finger choil here. Uh, doubles as a sharpening choil, so you can choke up right there. Feels great. Feels excellent. Pinch grip. Oh, yeah. All day. No problems, baby. I'm in there. I'm in there. The, the texturing feels great. The jimping feels excellent. Really nice. Uh, these are going to be made by Best Tech, just like the relative. Best Tech's just been killing it lately. Absolutely putting out some insane work uh, a little bit of internal milling to keep the weight down but a wild look i don't even know what to call this blade i mean it's a tonto but it's a, I, 
it's something else is what it is, man. Check the action running on bearings. Oh, reverse flick feels great. Blade tucks all the way in, but you can still really easily get your finger in there for reverse flick, which is super nice. Really easy to disengage the lock. Front flipper works really great. Thumb flicks works really great. Damn, dude. If there's one thing John does, lefty? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Sure. Sure. My hands aren't working because I'm so excited. <laughs> it's a good long blade, too. Here it is again compared to the relative. It's about the same length as the relative. Um, and the relative's about nimble X size. And then here is the Tactile Knife Coat Rockwell. So a little bit longer, but... I, lo I love it. I, you know, I had my doubts seeing pictures about this. Uh, seeing pictures about it. Seeing pictures of it. But in hand, man, dialed in super well. Those bearings are so smooth. Let's check the noise. Mm -hmm, yeah. Very a dull thud. Not super clicky, clacky, or tingy, but a very satisfying kerchunk out of it when you flip it open. Very cool. Let's read up about it real quick before we do the cut test. So it is the Ronin. It's a compound ground. Tonto front flipper. Um, price will be around $325-ish. May go up, may go down a little bit. It depends. Blade steel. You ready for this shit? L-Max, baby. L-Max on the Ronin. I'm all in. 3.4-inch uh, long blade. Full titanium. T8 hardware. Made by Best Tech. What else is there to say? The Ronin. EMP EDC. Doing, doing what they do, man. I got no gripes. It is different looking. It may not visually be for everybody, but let me assure you that it is really, really well put together and really well dialed in. But I do, I'm interested to see if that hollow ground, or I can't talk today. I'm too jacked up on coffee. If that hollow ground Tonto will do some cutting, and I bet you it will. Ooh, nice and thin. Relatively thick blade stock, by the way, but it comes down to a nice thin edge so let me get the phone book out let's see let's see here well let's check it out see if she'll cut i'm betting you she will oh yeah all day it is a prototype oh yeah mom i'm struggling oh yeah oh yeah it's not quite as thin and slicey behind the edge as previous models because it is such a, a, a short blade in height um but man it's a real nice fine edge Again, just a prototype, so the uh, final delivered versions will, you know, you know how Best Tech does it. I don't have to, I don't even have to go into it. It'll cut, baby. It'll cut all day. I'm struggling. I'm sorry, dude. I'm too jacked up. My hands are too shaky. <laughs> the Ronin, it'll cut. It'll cut, I promise you that. It is relatively thin behind the edge, and I love that we have just a crazy straight ass edge here so you kind of have the edge off a of one cliff but the tip off a of tonto like it is super squared off super boxy super insane you almost have like a chisel tip here it's super thick flat ground here at the end so you could do like some scraping if you want if you want to do a little scraping with the ronin you can do it the mpdc ronin baby i will leave links to uh their instagram as well as their website so you guys can keep up to date on this uh not the full review just first impressions and unboxing uh plenty of pictures on instagram and on Kara's Instagram, so be sure to follow us there. But links in the description coming soon. I don't know when. Is there... I don't know. Uh, it doesn't say. So eventually, I will try to keep you all updated. We'll talk about it on live streams. I'm pumped, baby. The Ronin in the house. That is it. Thank you all oh so very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye now.